In the fall of 2012, a pair of Lexington-based artists who are passionate promoters of the city's cultural scene invited a pair of internationally known German street artists to Lexington. The story of their visit and their graffiti-style murals marked the beginning of a new saga in Lexington and around the world. Everybody is a storyteller. Everybody um, is a collage. That's how we like to see things. You know, you're a collage created by your mother and your father. <laughs> so, and, um, and the same is with Herakut, the, the combination. It's a collage of two people, and they have different stories to bring to the table. We made street art, but we based it uh, as in, in the graffiti scene. I started uh, 21 years ago with a painting with spray paint. And um, yeah, my main focus is on the photorealistic spray paint graffiti. So when, when Herakut is working together, typically Jasmine will start the drawing. And that's really great to watch because she'll stand on the ground with a 20 foot extended roller and just draw right on the brick with that. And she fills it in a little bit and then uh, Akut will take, a, will take a picture of her or someone around to get real close details because he's, his history is as a um, photorealist. So then you'll see him taping the picture right to the wall to get the eye perfect. And um, So he fleshes it out. And then at some point, Jasmine might come along and say that uh, though he's already painted the eyes and the lips, it all has to go 20 centimeters higher. And then they start all over. Um, but they've also both said very clearly that what makes it easy for them not to overwork something and to make it stale <laughs> is that they just stop when they want to stop and they know that the other one's going to kind of bring it to where it needs to be. Kurt and Kremena first discovered Harakut's work on a trip to Los Angeles. After spearheading several artistic projects in Lexington, they gained community support for the murals and quickly found themselves planning a week-long trip for the two German street artists. All along we knew that there would be one mural. They said, well, we hate throwing away paint, so would it be okay to make a second mural with the leftover paint? And that was like a huge Christmas gift, so it would be great. Um, so we found about seven locations for them, and uh, we let them choose. And the first location they chose is, is um, a building at the intersection of Market and Short Street, across from Farmer's Market. We thought they liked it because of the visibility. When they came, we realized that they really loved the fact that there is a church behind the building and that it's a freestanding building. The mural painted at 156 Market Street was not only the first mural Harakut painted in the city, but it's the first in the giant storybook project. This story is being told one mural at a time all across the world. Lily is stubborn, beautiful little girl. Um, and uh, I think you've got a little bit of Lily in um, all the kids uh, in this city. <laughs> they have great imagination. And uh, I got to meet some school kids uh, from Sayers, I think. They actually told me all about Lily. So, you know, we, we came up with this idea. Yeah, let's, let's make the hero a little girl. So this is the old Spalding's Bakery. It was a family business for many years um, in a predominantly African-American neighborhood run by an African-American family. Um, and when we talked about this particular location, we explained that we teach a class here in the North Limestone neighborhood that it's a part of town that needs more attention because there are a lot of people who are still hesitant about coming here. And it's still a part of town that has to give people good reasons to come here. So we. Secretly, we were really hoping that they would choose this location. We were very, very excited when they did. When, uh, when we learned about the history of this building, you know, we came here with this set of characters in our mind um, as if it was our cast or something, or maybe, let's say, we were directing a play, and so we had a, a whole load of, of uh, actors on board and then we looked at um, this stage and we, we thought, hmm, who can we put out here? So it's really, um, it wasn't this right here, it wasn't sketched out too much. We really let the neighborhood and the impressions we, we had by coming down here um, create this.
So we're, we were really excited from the very beginning that not only would we get a beautiful artwork, but also it would become part of a children's book that would that will be sold all over the world. So we're excited that Lexington is going to be on the cultural street map, street art map of the United States and, and really in the world now. As of April 2013, Harakut had taken the giant storybook project to Kathmandu for its 10th mural. Pages of the story can now be found on four continents. There's one each in Asia, Australia, and Europe, and seven of them can be found across Canada and the United States. Most of these are in the major cities of Toronto, Montreal, San Francisco, and Miami. But for now, the only location with more than one mural is Lexington, Kentucky. You know, when, when we contacted them, what we thought we were going to get out of this was one beautiful mural. And all along, Kurt and I were really um, compelled by the idea of street art because it's available to everyone. So it's really democratic. You don't have to go into an art gallery. Everybody's exposed to it. And that's what we thought we were going to get, just a beautiful mural. And we never expected that their visit would become a community event because this is the fourth day that they're painting and all the time there are people coming by and people who now love street art and, re and want to have more of it in Lexington. So I think we're now talking about next time and we want to do it annually, maybe do it every fall. And I think there is enough support and interest and energy in, in our city um, to make it happen. At the moment, it looks like that we are soon back to Lexington. Yeah, there's a, a lot of other uh, building owners who offered us their walls. So, and uh, maybe we can go a little further with our job to beautify cities. Yeah. And so many people are saying we're proud of Lexington. We love Lexington, and I think we all love Lexington, but now we love it a little bit more, and that's great.